dear students here we have a very significant question under the topic pert and cpm so the question is distinguish between pert and cpm or it may be differentiate between pert and cpm or or uh, write down the differences between pert and cpm so now we are going to learn the differences between pert and cpm so the first difference is So the first difference is PERT was developed in a brand new research and development project that is R&D project whereas CPM was developed for conventional projects that is the routine projects. So PERT was developed in a brand new R&D project research and development project. Sometimes the projects may be uh, of research type that is it may be uncertain so uh, in that case PERT will be used when it is of routine task CPM will be used so this uh, PERT um, it, it had to consider and deal with uncertainties which are associated with the projects and so the project duration will be regarded as random variables and therefore probabilities are calculated so as to characterize it whereas in CPM, we deal only with conventional projects such as construction project uh, and uh, all those projects will be a well known routine tasks whose resource requirement and duration will be certain. So this deals with uncertainty and this uh, CPM deals with certainty. Now we shall see the next difference. So the second difference is in PERT and in PERT the emphasis is given to the important stages of completion of task rather than the activities. Whereas in CPM, it is suited to establish a trade-off for optimum balancing between schedule time and the cost of the project. So this is more mainly event-oriented and CPM is activity-oriented. So we'll, we shall move on to the third difference now. So the third Pro differences is PERT is used for projects in which time estimates are uncertain for example in the research and development projects usually the time estimates will be uncertain and they will also be non-repetitive in nature whereas in CPM CPM is used for projects involving well-known activities so it will be not uncertain it will be well known so uncertain means something which is not well known so in PERT it will be not well known whereas in CPM it will involve activities which are well known so therefore they may be repetitive in nature so this is the third difference we shall see the last difference now so the fourth one which is the last one so the fourth difference is PERT helps in identifying the critical areas in a project so that the suitable necessary adjustments may be made to meet the scheduled completion date of the project because this is probabilistic in nature we can use uh, suitable adjustments in order to attain the scheduled completion of the project in CPM the CPM helps in identifying only the critical path and the project length and no adjustments can be made so this is the last difference between PERT and CPM. So we have listed four differences uh, between PERT and CPM which are very significant. Hope you have understood the differences between PERT and CPM. Thank you.